Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Idono Brunei. I'm here to demonstrate another mechanism analysis using the GeoGebra Classic software. This time around, I want to do a mechanism on the lever beam. Let me just show you this image of this beam so that you understand how it goes. Okay, let me bring it out. That is this. Okay, so this is it. You can see all these uh, images. I screenshot them from the theory of machine textbooks. So you can see this mechanism. The major link that is the main driver of this link now of this mechanism is the AB. So the main aim of this link is to reciprocate this cylinder here. That's how it reciprocate this piston in this inside this cylinder here. So how do you achieve this? You need to rotate this crank, see the link 2 crank AB as you rotate round. The connecting rod is connected to this beam, this lever mechanism. Now you see the lever link. Then as the crank rotate, connecting rod BC link to lever CE. And lever CE need to oscillate in this order, top and down. Then this extreme end is now connected to the piston and the piston will slide vertically inside this cylinder so let me just do the simple demonstration of this mechanism so that we see how it goes okay let me start as usual with my circle locate your point let me take radius 2 okay then let's get the point b so this is point b on the circumference of the circle if you want to show the label just click on the point, you come here and let's see the name. This is C. You can right click it and you can rename it to like say to A. Okay. Let me delete this. Okay. That is A. Okay. Why this one is labeled as B? So you can rename it. Delete it. We call it B. All right, then this is the main motion. Now this is the main power. That is A B. Let me just connect my segment to it to A B. Right. So this is A B. All right. So let's move on. Now I need to get this point. But before I can get this point, remember this frame have a rod here or let's say a pillar where the lever is being supported at this point D so let me just make this height so let me just take a particular height here let me see okay, let me just draw my let me take my straight line let me assume from here to somewhere here okay so let me take from A to somewhere here to be this so let me just assume this point here. Let me just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let me take somewhere here. Let me just extend this. Sorry, undo. I need to move it. Okay. So let me take somewhere here. Okay. We maintain this height all right so this point is the point d so let me label it and when you name it to point d okay so that is it now i need another circle if i take circle from here Okay, let me not take the circle from the let me take it from point B. Take it, let me take radius of let me see how seven we go first. Okay, seven is too much. Let me undo this. Let me take a radius of five. Let me see. Okay, I think five is okay. Then let me take a circle also from here. Let me take a radius of 
let me see how five we go okay i think five is too much let me undo this let me take four okay i think four should be okay so let me move b and see how it moves okay Hmm, it moves around like this. Okay. Don't want it to go outside. It's going out. You can see it's going out on this place. So let me move back. So let me increase this. Let me delete that. Let me take a radius of 4.5. Okay. Right. Let me move and see. Okay. I think this one is okay by me. Yes. At least it's not going outside the circle. So this is okay. So what I need to do now, I need to get the in point of intersection between these two circles, this and this, which is this point is the most important point. Then I can close every other point now. So let me hide them. Let me hide them. Let me hide this one. So I need a straight line. need a straight line from here to pass through here and I need distance from here to here I want it to be equal so let me see how I can do that okay okay so let me let me move this first and see my movement. Okay. So let me just count this is a half. That's one, two, three, four. So I need the same thing here. So I need a segment from here to pass through here. One, two, three, four. Then I want it to be somewhere here. Alright. Okay. So I've got in my C and D. So this one, I can hide this one now. Okay, so if I turn this now, see, I can achieve what I want. So this is what I want. As this member rotates, this beam will oscillate. So let me connect them with the segment now from here to here. Then let me label this point C on this side. So rename it delete this call it c okay done that so that is that now you can see it now see i've achieved the mechanism i want okay so let me let me hide this one all right Finally, let me do my slider here. So I need a straight line from here. Let me take it somewhere here. Okay, let me okay. Let me reduce this length to somewhere here. Let me turn this. Let me put it as horizontal. Let me see. Okay, that means I need to push this one. Okay, let me just let me not bother about this. This one is not really my not really a problem. Let me delete this line. Let me delete this. Okay, I don't want to shift this. Okay, let me even hide this line i don't need this line let me hide this line let me 
behind this so let's get let me get my line from somewhere here let me put it somewhere here okay so I need a circle now I need a circle with this center let me take a circle of for example let me see how let me see how five we go no I don't want five let me undo it let me take it from this center let me take a circle of three let me say three point five I think this should be okay by me. Then I need the point of intersection between this line and this line. So that's okay by me now. Then I can hide all these lines that I don't need. Hide this. Can hide this. Can hide this now. Can hide this. Let me drag it down. <laughs> Let me hide this. I think I've achieved what I want. The next thing is to draw my segment to touch this. So this is what I need. So I've gotten what I want now. I can just make my slider here. Let me do a small circle of let's say one unit. Or let me let me use 0 0.5 units. This is 0 0.5. Okay, this is okay. Let me draw my polygon. Just a small rectangular here. Okay. Okay, if I think I've gotten all I need to so my mechanism. Is done now so just hide the ones the lines you don't need just hide them around and you are good to go all right mechanism done let me label this point this is point E rename it to be called point E So that is all so let's play the mechanism now so if I click on animation you can see it now so this is the mechanism we are trying to achieve as a B rotate as the crank rotate connecting rod BC we connect to the lever and the lever we oscillate to and fro while this piston will be moving in a vertical reciprocating all that up and down you can see it and that is this direction so this is the mechanism just easy as that so very simple and easy so i hope you enjoy this video this is the simple lever beam mechanism as the crank a b as it rotates connecting rod b c connect to the lever c e and CE oscillate up and down and carry the slider top and down. So let me stop that. Then I can you can shoot trees of the slider here so that you see how the slider the part of the slider you can see the part of the slider vertical motion up and down, which is this part. So this is how you do this mechanism and I hope you enjoy this video. Do have a nice time.